Well, you know that we are in a time where people want to be relevant. And uh, they feel that being relevant is to incite the public, tell lies against government. Um, I know no civil society behave like that. You have to understand how civil societies in other climes work. They tend to balance information. The allocation to government is managed by the state Ministry of Finance. There is a budget and there is always a published account. So I would have asked that he waits, let the account be published, then he can ask questions and um, rather than raise false alarm. On the palliative, thank God you know, he was on the palliative committee. The money that federal government gave to me, or to the state, and indeed to all states, was two billion naira. Even though federal government said it was five billion. We are here to receive the balance of three billion. Even the two billion, the federal government have written to us that it has to be refunded. So if you refund the money that was generally believed to be funds that was given to the state, it means that it's the state that did the palliative. And beyond the two billion, all of us are in this state. We saw what we did. We spent well over five billion, if you put all together. I'm not talking, even add the salaries that we paid for three months and I put all of that, check with the accountant general's office. We spent well over that. So that's the part. On the one that um, states have been given 30 billion for palliative, I think it's a prophecy. And I pray the prophecy will come to pass. And um, you know, we are in the states and uh, our people are there in Abuja. Maybe there is a plan like that. So I join in praying that it should come. It will help us a lot. But as I stand here today, we have not received more than two billion naira from the federal government on palliative. And we are made to understand that it was a loan. And this state spent well over five billion. We are now uh, getting a bill to the, we have gotten a bill to the House of Assembly to be able to pass so that we start the bulk purchase agency. Bulk purchase agency, the state government wants to do bulk purchase of food and send it to the market so we can be able to stem price of food. We're not setting a price control, but we'll be able to say, if you flood the market, this is the price. The challenge for us is that we want to wipe, we want to take away middlemen so that this can get to the real people. That's always the challenge with government programs like this. And we're working hard, even before the bill is passed, to ensure that we find a perfect way that will tell all our Kwaibomites that this is how the bulk purchase agency will run. So I believe that, as a state, we are doing the very best we can. Since I came into office, I've tried to keep the cost of governance very low. I have denied myself of some of the things that are supposed to be my entitlement, so as to put it back for the common good of our citizenry. I believe in my conscience to God that I'm giving my all, and I'm prepared to do more. And I'm, anybody wants to audit the state account, the accountant general is there, commissioner for finance is there, director of budget is there, and see. You know, and when people say, the other day I saw someone said they put these amounts in the budget. That you put money in the budget does not mean that you are spending that amount. It's a provision. The things you spend is based on your revenue and your income. That's the actual thing. So when people say they put this in the budget, they put that in the budget, um, I don't think it's anything to worry about. Even in our homes, we do budgets. But if the money is not there, you can't spend what you don't have.